as winter winds down and we're getting warmer temperatures, I just take one of my winter be kind boards that they've eaten up all the all the candy off of it, and instead I put pollen or protein powder actually on it. And uh, this is a protein powder here, uh, one brand. I'm doing a little experiment to see which brand is more liked by the bees. Turns out they don't care. Protein is protein, and so they're just what they do. They actually fly over the top of it, and and fan their wings and they slightly kind of pick up. You can see them just kind of picking up the powder and packing it in their back legs. They don't really have to land to do that. They can do it while they're flying. It's pretty amazing. Hey everybody, David Burns here, EAS Certified Master Beekeeper. Kind of a nice day today. The weather looks very good in the future, so today I'm going to be taking off a winter bee kind board here and showing you how I feed my bees coming out of winter, going into spring with my Burns feeding system and uh, what kind of uh, food that I feed my bees. Before I begin though, I want to really say uh, thank you so much. I've got now 35,000 subscribers to my YouTube channel. It's, that's phenomenal. Thank you. That really uh, is humbling. And uh, I want to encourage you to subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Please subscribe. Also, you can click the little bell, and that way, every time I make a video, uh, you'll get a notification that I've made a new video, and you'll be able to watch it really fast like that. So do subscribe and click the little bell below here. I really appreciate that. So many of you, I've spoken in uh, different states and different conferences this year already, and so many of you have come up and told me what a difference I've made in helping you get started in beekeeping or maintaining your beekeeping endeavors and everything. That's so great to hear. So wonderful. I really appreciate that so much. And I really want to thank Matthew and Maggie and their children, Peter and Henry and Johan and Eric. You guys sent us such a nice email about how you guys sit and watch my videos. The children are excited to see me. So hello, children. And because you are so kind and your words were so sweet, we're actually sending you a little special uh, gift your way. So be looking for that for, for your family to enjoy. So we do appreciate all of our viewers and those of you that follow, follow me on YouTube. Some of you have come up to me and said, when you make a YouTube video, it's, it's so enjoyable. And so I appreciate that. And that, that's a, that means a lot to me. Okay, so let's get started today. Um, you should not do two things that I'm about to do. Never wear black when you're working a beehive and always wear a hat and a veil and protective gear. And I may wish I had done that in a minute. I hope it doesn't go bad. All I'm gonna do is take off my winter bee kind, which the bees are kind of getting off of now because it's really nice out today. It's probably close to 50 degrees right now, Fahrenheit. And so the bees are out flying a little bit. And what I'm gonna do is pop the lid off, uh, take off the winter be kind and then put on the burns feeding system and then we'll put my feeding solution on and then we'll put a deep hive body on put the top cover back on so many of you our phones are ringing all day today and you're asking when do i take the winter be kind off when do i start feeding liquid feed you know it varies according to where you live but i would say if it's warm enough now if you're coming out of winter, it's warm enough now where it's not gonna get much below, you know, freezing anymore. And the daytime temperatures are gonna be warm enough for bees to fly. It's good to feed them liquid now. Uh, they don't drink much liquid when it's 50 degrees or lower, the liquid gets cold, but I'm gonna go for it. I want them to get some liquid in there and um, it's gonna make them a lot healthier. Now you can feed them like I showed you in the beginning of the video, you can feed them out there uh, in the open if you want to put some protein powder um, where it's going to have to be dry of course you don't want that to get rain don't leave it out overnight with moisture and dew and don't let it get rained on but when you do it like that um, you're actually only feeding the bees that are foraging so you may have a hive that's in the shade 
uh, and then on cool days and they won't forage so they won't get the food they need um, what we actually created last year and many of you so many of you took advantage of this is a packet because you were asking me what do you put in your solution what do you you know vitamins minerals and all that what do you do in your winter be kind solution what do you do in the feeding solution so we actually created this little packet i think i've told you about it before amino b booster honey bee healthy and protein powder and so i use a table uh sorry a teaspoon per quart jar of each of these and we sell these so um, these for less than twenty dollars you can get the package shipped to you just like it looks like here these vials are ready to go and there's about five teaspoons in each of these vials so it'd be enough for five quarts uh, this is my burns feeding system and i really encourage you to use these uh, because you're able to feed the bees from the top when it's cooler like this they'll still be clustered on the top rather than an entrance feeder where sometimes they don't go all the way down on cooler nights and go outside the hive to an entrance feeder. They're a little bit outside the entrance. And so this is able to feed the bees right over the cluster area during the spring. So this will be helpful with packages, even nukes. Anytime your bees are drawing out new foundation, always good to feed them with these feeders. Uh, we sell the lids with the holes in them. Uh, the liquid, uh, once it starts, the liquid uh, starts to um, just hang there for the bees to use their proboscis, their tongue, and slurp it up. The vacuum in the container holds it from dripping out once it's like this, and the bees can go up and put their proboscis in these little holes and enjoy. And so what we're going to do today, I've already mixed up my solution and my feeder here. This is a, that looks like a half gallon. I'm, I don't know how big that is, but Maybe it's a quart. Anyway, um, we're going to go ahead and feed them. So I'm just going to show you how I do it and uh, what you should do. I think I've answered all your questions. Do it when the temperatures get above. I keep putting my hand in, in the entrance of the bees here on the top. But do uh, change this over to liquid when the bees are able to fly. And um, that, that means they're wanting to forage. They're wanting something to eat or drink. And... And then they can go out and potty when they're eating the liquid as well. Ah, I need a hive tool. Hang on, there we go. So I'll take the top off, and this is the Winter Be Kind. If you're new to Winter Be Kinds, um, these are these are this is something that I invented that I make. And there's moisture here at the top that would have been inside the hive, but we blocked it. But they absorb moisture from winter and they allow the moisture of the bees to get absorbed in my candy uh, recipe and then the bees eat it and now they're not eating as much this is the third one i've placed on this hive they've eaten three or two completely which is about five pounds four or five pounds a piece and now they're on the third one but since they're flying and wanting to forage I can tell they're not going to be as uh, on this as much as they normally are. So here's for hoping I won't get stung and they'll be nice and let me put the other feeder on it. Okay, so they're kind of off of it and just sitting there on the top, the top part of the winter cluster. So I'm going to take that off. I'm working gently, very gentle with the bees. Slow motion movements. Hello girls, you look so nice. I look forward to inspecting you later on as the time goes on. That's so cool. All right, so here goes this Burns feeding system that I invented. And right here is right above their cluster. They're all just sitting right there like, feed us, David. We want some of that good nectar that you make with the amino B booster. Amino acid is protein and there's other uh, protein powder we've added. And of course the honey be healthy. And put it on like that. Um, so some people ask me, I was, I was speaking out at uh, Salt Lake City, Utah at the state convention out there. And someone said, you mean you just thought of this yourself? And I said, yeah, I actually did. So my thought process was this. So if a bee flies and forages on a flower, they 
are moving protein, I'm sorry, moving pollen, which is protein, but moving pollen from one flower to the next to fertilize flowers. And so they are rewarded for their endeavors of moving their pollen around some nectar that they can take back to the hive, but they also take back the protein, the pollen. So when a bee consumes um, nectar from a flower, they're also consuming little pollen grains as well. So in their diet, through their straw, their proboscis, they're consuming nectar, carbohydrates, pollen, which is protein. So every time they drink or um, ingest some of the nectar, they know that they're also getting protein. But when beekeepers only feed sugar water, the bees are kind of fooled because they think, oh, here's nectar. Nectar is probably about 80% water in the flower. So they, th but they're getting pollen grains in flower nectar. But sugar water that beekeepers give their bees doesn't have any protein. So a lot of people use um, pollen patties, you know, they, oh, here's some protein. But look, if they're gonna drink the nectar, and naturally they would think there's pollen grains or protein in it. So I just decided everything a bee eats, they drink through a straw. Why not put the protein, the amino B uh, booster, the, the protein, as well as the honey bee healthy, in and mix it up into the drink like it's, like it's real nectar. And it's phenomenal how that works, especially in the fall. You really need to do it in the fall to build up bees of winter physiology. So this board is actually good to use in the spring and save it and you'll start feeding your bees after the summer um, dearth hits and feed them that way. Um, I've been watching, my wife and I have been watching old episodes. That's what's so neat about um, the internet TV. You can watch anything you want. <laughs> but we've been watching old um, episodes of Julia Child's, or the recipe, the French cook, I think it's called. And it's a hoot. I enjoy watching that so much. <laughs> and I feel like that now. I feel like I'm talking like her or something, telling you these things. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and put on this uh, next box, which is an empty deep box. And why I'm putting this on, it provides a shell to add support protection of my feed that's inside of here. So in other words, now when I open this lid up, because my Burns feeding systems, they have screen under on the under, underside of this hole. The bees are able to put their proboscis up through the screen and drink the sugar water. Um, now I can change it just by taking the top off and never get stung. Like an entrance feeder, you take it off and the bees are on the entrance feeder. But as you can see here, when I remove this, they're below the screen. Oh, and they're already starting to eat it like crazy. That's so good. And then after that, I'm gonna put my top cover on. You don't wanna leave your winter bee kind out here. Forget about it, because if you do, it could induce robbing. And then I'm gonna take a big uh, cinder block and put right here and to hold it all down. Now, some of you may notice that the bees are used to going in and out of where the winter bee kind opening was during the winter, which they take potty breaks on warmer days in the winter. But quickly they will reorientate because they're using their entrance pretty good now and it works out really well. These feeding additives are available. All of you are gonna wonder, how do I get them? Where do I get them? How do I apply this? So these do come, there's instructions on how to mix it when you order these on our website at honeybeesonline.com. And you can also buy the Burns Feeding System. I'm not trying to make this a sales pitch. I really am fascinated at the difference this makes in bee health. It's phenomenal. I, I tell you, when you feed the bees properly in the fall and grow that huge population of bees of winter physiology, winter survival, is just miraculous. So do feed them in the fall and also start feeding them now in the spring if you live in a climate where temperatures are topping 50 degrees during the daytime. It's gonna help so much. It's important that the bees are flying. You don't wanna feed them liquid if they're not flying. If they're still clustered, not moving much, don't feed them liquid. Go to the hard candy, our winter be kinds. 
Okay, everybody, thanks again for watching. I'm looking forward to making a lot more videos now that the weather is uh, much nicer outside. And again, be sure and subscribe. Click on the bell so you get notified when I make new videos. We love more subscribers. Always good to see you. I'm looking forward to seeing you at a conference. I still have several months that are open. If you want me to come speak in your club or your conference, I'd love to show up and have some fun with you. Well, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. And here we go.